How do you act in an emotion? How do you cry on camera? How do you laugh hysterically? How do you drum up emotions as an actor? Where do they come from? How can you master them? Well, we'll answer some of those questions after the bump. Buddy, I am Doug Fall, your augmented actor, helping you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. If you're new here and you want to augment your acting career, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, I might just buy you a pony. I saw a video on YouTube, a lecture basically on the three pillars of emotion. I will link to that video down in the description below. But I wanted to just sort of give you a brief overview of what those three pillars are. These are the pillars that every actor needs in order to understand and portray emotion effectively. Pillar number one is experience. You have to have experienced the emotion that you are portraying, otherwise it's going to be an estimation, a guess, or a faking of that emotion. They say by the time that you are 16 or 17 that you have experienced every major human emotion out there. Now, I don't think that's entirely the case. You probably haven't experienced what it's like to go through a divorce, for instance, but you will have experienced pretty much all the main ones. Happiness, sadness, grief, loss, guilt, lust, pleasure, all those kind of things. You have to have experienced them. You have to have known what they felt like. You have to have discovered what led you into that emotion, what led you out of that emotion, and basically how it manifested in you. You have to know whether or not you hid that emotion from somebody else or whether you express that emotion outright because that's an important part of acting emotions too is not always just acting them but hiding acting them pillar number two is physicality every emotion has a physical trait tied to it something in your face something in your posture that can help bring on that emotion that manifests as a physical characteristic when that emotion is expressed. For instance, if you stand with a smile and you look up at the skies and you stretch your arms up above and you're wide open and you smile, you're going to experience joy and elation. Just the act of smiling and showing your teeth brightens your day. It brings on that emotion. It makes you feel happy. Likewise, if you look down at the ground, you bring the corners of your eyes down, you furrow your brow, you frown, and your, your posture is down and you bring your focus down, you're going to experience sadness and depression and grief. You're going to start to drum up those kinds of emotions. Every emotion has a physicality to it. When you cry, you, you might quiver your lip. Your, your bottom lip might quiver. You might scrunch your face a little bit. You might look down, you might be mad, but you're always going to be trying to do something physical. So if you're trying to drum up an emotion, Put the physicality of that emotion on first. If you are in an emotion in real life, IRL, then you want to study, look at yourself removed from your situation, think of it as a third eye looking at the scene that you're in and discover what you're physically doing when you're experiencing that emotion. And do that with surprise anything. What do you do when you're surprised? What do you do when you see a spider? Where, where does your body go? If you can mimic that, that same body feeling, you'll feel that emotion. The third pillar of emotion is language. The words we think, the words we say, the words that are said to us, and the words we read. Every play and movie has a script. There's words involved. You're going to be speaking words as an actor, but you're also going to be hearing words from another actor. And there are words in your thoughts, in your memories. If you are a method actor and you were trying to drum up an experience, you might have imagery in your head and you're reliving this experience, but you'll also be telling you thing, yourself things like, I'm a bad person, I'm evil, nobody likes me. If you just say, nobody likes me, over and over and over again, I'm gonna eat some worms, you will start to feel down on yourself. You'll start to feel blue. You'll start to feel like nobody likes you, like you're a loner. And 
bringing those words into your brain, having them spoken to you by another actor, and speaking them out loud is a major way of drumming up an emotion. So you put those three things together, the experience of an emotion, the physicality of the emotion, and the words surrounding that emotion that you're thinking and speaking and hearing, and that's how emotion comes out for an actor. Those are the three pillars, and I find them very useful. Which of these three pillars do you draw upon most as an actor? Put your answer down in the comments below. Before you go, you might also want to try checking out this video up here. There's useful information there. There's also some more videos to explore. I want to thank you for joining me today. I will work on getting that pony soon-ish. <laughs>